This is one of the most painful conditions that any animal can have. We don't know how long Bear has been suffering with this. It can be an infection. If left, it could spread into his bloodstream. He could die. Good boy. Nothing here is normal. Okay, what do we got? Perfect, thank you. Hey, matey. Oh. Maybe he's having some difficulty walking. Oh, settle, okay. settle, settle. Hey, buddy, hey. you're right, mate. On the Gold Coast, a nine-month-old Mastiff has been rushed into emergency in serious trouble. Good boy. It's Bear. Bear's his name. Awesome. Hey, Bear. Doctors Alex Hines and Gerardo Poli immediately suspect Bear may have been bitten by a deadly paralysis tick. He's got a nice short coat, so if there's a tick there, we should be able to find it. A single bite from the tiny insect can cause paralysis and potentially fatal breathing difficulties. In reception, owner Aaron is anxiously waiting with his baby son Bjorn to find out what's wrong with Bear. As I got home from work, I just noticed Bear's been really lethargic. I asked my partner and she said that he hasn't moved much all day. He's very boisterous, which is the reason why I knew something was up. So I thought it'd be best to bring him in here. I think I found something back here. This big dog, Bear, doesn't want to walk. We're always worried in a dog that can't walk in this part of the world that they may have tick paralysis. Oh, look at this. Alex has just discovered a tick isn't the culprit. Wow. What we found, he's actually got a huge swollen testicle there. So it's not a surprise he doesn't want to walk. He needs some pain relief and then we've got to work out what we're going to do to help him. This is going to make you feel better, Bear. We don't know how long Bear has been suffering with this. It can be an infection. If left, it could spread into his bloodstream. He could die. Good boy. One thing we know for sure is it's not a tick. Yeah. <laughs> On the Gold Coast, Alex and Gerardo are investigating the cause of nine-month-old Bear's painful enlarged testicle. That right, right one is really large Good and painful. Boy. I think you're the only one here who can relate <laughs> to this. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, Bear. I'm sorry for it's laughing. It's all right, mate. buddy. I can appreciate your pain. There was a few laughs about sore testicles, etc. But I tell you what, Bear wasn't laughing. This is one of the most painful conditions that any animal can have. Hey, Bear. It's all be right. gentle, I promise, when we look in the ultrasound. I'm just going to get a picture. Yep. Gerardo is hoping an ultrasound will provide some clue as to what the problem could be. There is some fluid around the corner here. Yeah. We don't know at this stage how serious this is. There's a number of things that can cause this condition. It can be an infection. It can be a twisted testicle that can cause this much pain and swelling. It could be something like cancer. There's really no two ways about it. The best and the quickest treatment for him is going to be castration. Hey, Bear, you going to be OK? We'll take care of you, mate. That looks really nasty. That must be so painful. Poor Bear. At the Animal Emergency Service, Alex has just discovered why Bear has been struggling to walk. All right. Just going to pop in here, Aaron, and have a bit of a chat. Fearing a deadly paralysis tick, owner Aaron has been patiently waiting with his baby son for any news. The good news is yeah. we haven't found a tick. What we have found yeah. is that he's actually got a really large testicle there. Okay, yeah. um, and it's very painful. And he's also got a temperature. Sometimes we find there can be an underlying cause, like mm -hmm. he could have had a trauma to the area yeah. and that could have caused an infection yeah. if some bacteria got in. Yeah. But he's going to need to have that testicle removed. Once we do get it out as well, we can see what, what might be going on in there, okay? okay? Yeah. I would prefer him to keep his testicles, but obviously if it's going to mean that he's going to be in pain, then clearly it's the best option to do. He's feeling a little bit sleepier than he than he was. Yeah. You're right there. Here he hey, is. Hey, this day. He's your dad. Hey. hey, buddy. Hey. He's like dad. Aaron is worried, but he knows that nine-month-old Bear is a survivor. When we got him from the kennel, we had him for a couple of days but take him to emergency because uh, we found out he had parvo. Parvo is an infectious canine virus that attacks the gastrointestinal system and bone marrow. And if left untreated, can cause death. Wow, and he survived that. He survived it, yeah. Yeah. You're a lucky dog. You're a fighter bear, aren't you? So he's going to stay with us and, and have surgery. 
Good boy. You gonna come out? Can you walk out? Hey, you're a bit big to try and carry. On the Gold Coast, it's time for Bear the Mastiff to be anaesthetised for surgery on his painful swollen testicle. Wow. Good boy. Poor Bear. I can imagine it feeling like a vice. We will take that vice off your testicle. <laughs> okay, you ready to go to sleep? Good boy. Off to sleep. Okay. Here we go. There we go. Good boy. Alex and Gerardo will be performing the surgery, with vet nurse Tara assisting. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to perform a castration on Bear. This is an operation that's done all day, every day in vet practices around the country. But in emergency, this is something we don't actually do very often. How long since you've done a... Oh man, it's been a long time since I've had to clip some testicles. Yeah. We need to get these testicles out because that one testicle is really causing him a problem. Both testicles will be removed as a precaution in case tests reveal that the problem has spread. Okay, is he nice and sleepy? So we'll remove the good one first. So that's the normal one, Alex? Yeah, that's the normal one. So Pretty big. I know, isn't it? One testicle out. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Now it's time to tackle Bear's larger abnormal testicle. It's so swollen and so adhered because of all the inflammation that it doesn't want to move, which means it's really hard to cut it out. I think what I'm going to need you to do is push it up. That is stuck there. We're going to really have to put some pressure on there. This tissue is so firm and thickened. Nothing here is normal. Look at that fluid that's coming out of there. No, that doesn't look healthy at all. The vast amount of fluid could be due to infection and maybe sepsis, where the body reacts to a potential infection by shutting down organs. The diseased testicle looks really bad. When you have tissue like that in the body, they can become septic really quickly and it becomes life-threatening in that situation. He can die. Nothing here is normal. At the Animal Emergency Service, Alex and Gerardo have successfully removed Bear's healthy testicle, but the infected one is still stuck firmly in place. It must be removed or Bear could die from infection. I'm actually going to try and break down some of these adhesions with my fingers. Sometimes using your fingers can be the best way because you get behind the testicle and really try to break down those fibrous bands. Right, try that. Okay. That's it. That's it. There it is. Wow. Look at that. There is nothing healthy about that no. testicle. The testicle is clearly infected. Look at that discoloration there. That is actually already starting to die off. Yeah. So that would have made him really sick very, very quickly. He this was. A, just a true emergency. Very lucky we got in there. There we go. Okay. It's the other one there. Put them for comparison, yeah. So, wow. yeah, look at the size difference between those two and the colour difference. If this had gone on for too much longer, it would have actually made him septic. So he, the infection could have actually spread through his body. He could have died. So he's a lucky dog. I think I can say for every male out there, as much as you want them, I'm fairly certain he doesn't want that one. Yeah. He's going to feel a lot better. Nothing about this was a normal castration. I really could see how lucky it was that Aaron had brought Bear down to us. But Bear isn't out of the woods just yet. The diseased tissue will be sent to pathology to be tested for cancer. And it will be a few hours before Alex will see if this brave young dog's paralysis has improved. Hey, Mr Bear. The next morning on the Gold Coast, Aaron is back to pick up Bear. It's only been one night, but the family has missed him. They're all going to be very excited to see him. So yes, yeah, so I'm sure he's going to be excited to see them. So, so yeah, no, it should be good. So get him home. Bear! Hello, baby, look 
at you. Good boy. Come on. Hey. Alex is also excited to see her patient. Bear is looking so much better this morning. Oh, look at you, you're walking. Hey. Good boy. You have been through so much. Oh, look, I got a big kiss. Oh, good boy. Good boy. He is still a little bit swollen back there. That swelling will go down in the next couple of days and you won't even be able to tell. I think there's someone here who's going to be very happy to see you. Come on. He's walking a little bit bow-legged and that's not surprising. That wasn't just any normal castration. That was a big surgery that he underwent. Bear still needs to rest. He's been actually quite sick. So the most important thing is just that he's given time to recover. I still look at him this morning and think, wow, Bear, you are one lucky dog. Look who's that? Hello, buddy. Hey. Hey. Chelsea. Hmm? Hey. Yeah. My favourite moment is when I bring that patient out and they see their owner again. It's a beautiful time. It was actually an infection. Glad time. I brought him down when I did this. Yeah. <laughs> time, time really was a key factor. Yeah. Yeah, lucky boy. Ready to go home, buddy? Thank you for everything. We don't want to see him anytime soon, no, possible. No, no. Poor bear. This boy is only nine months of age and he's already survived parvo and now an infected testicle that's almost taken him out. I love this dog, but I'm really hoping that Aaron doesn't have to bring him back to the emergency hospital ever again. Hey, you stay out of trouble. But Alex won't be able to fully relax until she's got Bear's test results back from pathology. Thanks again. See you, mate. On the Gold Coast, Alex has received the results from the biopsy after Mastiff Bear's emergency castration. We sent away the testicle to the lab and the good news is it came back as a simple bacterial infection. Okay, what have we got? Thank you. It's Bear. Bear's his name. Maybe he's having some difficulty walking. If we hadn't removed that testicle, it could have led to sepsis. That's an overwhelming infection that starts to spread to other parts of his body. It can be deadly. Look at the size difference between those two and the colour difference. He's going to feel a lot better. We don't exactly know how Bear got this infection, but the great thing is castration and a course of antibiotics, and he's well on the road to recovery. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.